Greetings. <laughs> Here we are. Greetings. Yes, welcome. So welcome. Nice. Yes, welcome. Always to be together and with this very interesting topic. Yes, information. Information. That is exactly how it happens. How what happens? Uh, that we have, we are surrounded by all these different frequencies, stimuli, people, circumstances, yes. elements, and all of that. So then we have this uh, information coming into our receptors or through our receptors to our decodifier, which is the mind. Mm -hmm. And then it is exactly inside of us. What are we going to form with that information that mm -hmm. we are gathering with our receptors, which is our oh, vision, senses. our yes. smell, no? our mm -hmm. senses. Exactly. Our senses, yeah. So, and that is a constant thing that happens. It's not that outside life is so tough and difficult and challenging. It, it is the way in which we are decodifying this information. Mm -hmm. And then we have this interpretation about mm -hmm. life. And then it, it is up to you, up to Maya, and up to me, up to each one of us. What meaning do we want to give to life? Assign to it, What yes. meaning are we assigning to my daughter's behavior and to my son's behavior mm -hmm. and to my spouse's behavior and to all of the world? And that is just up to me. And that is largely based on previous experiences, on memories, right? That we um, take and assign the meaning that we have derived from it in the past to the current situation. Mm -hmm. So... It's, it's, a, it's a constant challenge or it's a constant opportunity for growth to literally try and view each and every situation as it arises mm -hmm. and as we interpret it based upon what life presents us mm -hmm. with new eyes, with as new eyes as possible without having without having the reference point mm. to previous experiences mm -hmm. and that is in other words that to, is an art it is an art in that other is words an art. sorry in other words to view each and every moment as a blank canvas yes I mean, because Marian, what Marian is saying is a metaphor with new eyes how do you mean with new eyes is my same vision is the same information that I have in my head as a background as a background Yes, but then we are conscious beings. So for one, we have this incredible computer, as we have been mentioning in several sessions. Our mind mm -hmm. has this part, the unconscious mind, which is where all this information, since you were in your mother's mm -hmm. womb and all of your childhood and it's all stored. of your life, moment by moment, all what you heard, all what you were being told or all what you learn depending on the culture and the family and mm -hmm. the environment that you were raised in so all of that information creates all these background all these programs no all the these tapestry recordings yes. Yes, all yes, this yes. it's like for example when when how is it called those uh, the different combinations of data, for example, in a search engine. Algorithms. Okay. It's like, imagine that your mind is always creating algorithms. So you have an input, no? Something is happening there in front of you, the circumstance. Boom! With all your background, with all this information that I am mentioning, you create a response, an immediate response, mm -hmm. an immediate reaction based on beliefs, basically. Mm -hmm. Beliefs, ideas about everything because when you were raised when you were educated when you were trained in this society to be a human being then you understood life in the terms that they taught you so if let's say you were in such culture with where women don't don't have these rights and men should not be doing these and children are allowed and so all those beliefs are the ones who are constantly giving meaning to every circumstance in your life Yes, so... When you are not conscious and you are exactly. just going through the patterns exactly. of the recordings. Exactly. But then you apply consciousness. And that is a key point I was just about to, to ask or to say. So then how do you, how do you overcome those? Mm -hmm. And how do you, once again, like I was just saying, how do you get to the point where you can literally view or try to view each moment and each scenario that life presents you without these recordings, without these reference points, without mm -hmm. these old stories, old patterns. You need like um, 
wide, first of all, you need to widen your mind, widen your perspective, understanding that the way you understand things is so relative mm -hmm. to your culture and the way mm -hmm. you being, were being raised. So understanding that, then you begin to explore and to understand that there are so many different viewpoints about oh life, God. so many very seven, different viewpoints about women, seven about and a half billion. nation, about yes. money, about yes. marriage, yes. about this and this and that, depending on the culture. Right. So then understanding that, then you become a little more neutral. That is the key word, neutrality. Neutrality, To be yes. equanime. I don't know what word is in English, equanime, but it's yes. like... Neutrality. Mm -hmm. So then, when you have all this input, before you just react in autopilot, because that is what happens with this incredible fast computer of the mm -hmm. unconscious mind, before that, you just observe in a neutral way, in a kind way, that is mindfulness. In, that, in a loving, kind way, first of all, instead of reacting and refusing and denying or whatever, just to accept, accept what life is offering to you in that moment, just to accept it. Okay, this is the experience. Let me observe it. And let me understand what, what is going on in my mind. And why, what are these reactions that I am having? Or, but all that is practice. Oh my God. It doesn't happen That's just because so you become aware. No, oh. it's because a constant, continuous practice of awareness to become the observer of yourself and your, yes. your own reactions and your own patterns, because Absolutely. we always have the same patterns. There is a tendency of the same thoughts, the same reactions, the same yes. emotions. Habits. It's habits. Yes, it's pattern the is a repetition of something, so which is yes. a habit. Yes, it's, it's the groove that we have all formed, mm -hmm. and we just had a conversation about the, this other day um, uh, in the morning, mm -hmm. how it is a choice, mm -hmm. right? First of all, to recognize that you have your thoughts Specific going patterns. in a yes, going in a certain pattern or going ah, in a certain way, which most tendency. likely is something that you've done a thousand times before. Mm -hmm. It's not anything new. Again, this is the habitual thinking that we all fall prey to, and, and our minds get hijacked by it. And then all of a sudden, you catch yourself and you say, if you are lucky, you catch yourself and say, how did I get here? I mean, I was on this kind of train of thought and now I find myself here and everything is like an abyss again. So it's about having the consciousness and having the awareness to catch yourself when that happens early on mm -hmm. and literally to shift your thinking. And you know how... And your inter sorry, sorry. And your interpretation of the scenario that most likely, most likely, is a machination of your mind. It's an invention, or if it's it's an inter like we said a little earlier, it's an interpretation of your mind, how it takes the information that is out there somewhere, or that you may have seen in social media or in news or whatever. But your own mind is just a stream of thoughts. Yes, but oftentimes you have the influence coming from somewhere that influences you to go in a certain pattern. And news is a perfect example for that, right? Yes, well, we just open news? up the news and it's like, oh my God, it's an avalanche, it can avalanche be anything. of darkness. Uh huh. It can even be the color that my aunt used today, so that triggered me, triggered the memory. And so here are key component to make it simple all these <laughs> bunch of ideas that we are sharing with you but to make it very very simple just observe whatever doesn't feel right or whenever you are having like a negative reaction negative mm -hmm. I, because you may think that oh my god i am right i mean all what they are doing in this house is so wrong and i am getting so annoyed and this is so not cool and whenever you begin to catch yourself in this reaction which is a negative reaction because it feels very bad in your system. It doesn't feel like pleasant at all. That means that that is your own creation, your own interpretation based on your beliefs, based on your formation. And that, that is when you begin to form. The topic to today is information. information right. What do you do with that input that mm -hmm. you constantly receive? Because we are antennas, we are mm -hmm. receptors, we are constantly receiving information 
and decodifying mm -hmm. and having reactions and having yes. creative thinking and all of that. Whenever you catch yourself being annoyed, angry, frustrated, feeling that the world is so unfair and these people are so un not cool and so on, that is a creation of your mind. Or so frightened. catch yourself. Catch yourself. Yes, and generally these, for example, reactions are based on fear. Yes, because you don't feel you belong, because you don't feel respected, because you feel not loved, and all of those fears. Yes. And that is what creates such a bad feeling. When you have a bad feeling, generally this is not coming from your conscious mind, for sure. Consciousness is similar to love. So consciousness is like similar to unconditional love, which is just energy of life, natural energy mm -hmm. of life and expansion, connection, mm -hmm. kindness, appreciation, gratitude. Never love. is about blaming or judging or believing mm -hmm. that you are best and your behaviors are the correct ones and the others are so wrong. Never. That is not your consciousness. That is your unconscious mind playing tricks on you. And then... Not, not, not you are the only one who feels like frustrated or unhappy, but the people that are with you, they sense those uh, frequencies. Absolutely. And, you know, we were also saying the other day, we, when we had this conversation, we were saying that a lot of this, we are programmed, right? We mm -hmm. have programmed for thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, literally, our brainstem, our um, animalistic brain, is literally programmed for the survival aspect, Reptilian. right? Mm -hmm. Reptilian brain is uh, programmed for the survival aspect, mm -hmm. which is greatly and mainly driven by the whole fear element, yes, right? Yes, focus on a possible threat. Yes, threat, prey, whatever. Um, so to, to really, again, to catch yourself when that happens, when you fall into that groove, mm -hmm. into that pattern, and then to just like we were saying, to say, hey, all is well. Shift. I'm safe. Just with that I'm well. I'm healthy. All is well. Life is good. Life right. is beautiful. All the people have the right to be in that part of their process, in, in their path of evolution. Who do I think I am? Right? This is meant for us to become like so open, this experience as a human being, to understand that there is diversity, that there are degrees of consciousness, there mm -hmm. are levels of fear. So compassion is a main ingredient, mm -hmm. compassion. Always to be yourself, your own self with compassion, and then you will be able to view the others with compassion. Mm -hmm. But with that, we are going to provide you a soundscape where you can dive into and literally turn it off <laughs> turn it yes. off and allow allow the sound to take you away uh, with that buckle up enjoy the ride oh our intention yeah, our intention our intention we place our intention upon love gratitude joy appreciation harmony inner freedom healing inner peace Abundance, abundance, and information, constant creation, creation, yes, creativity, creation. yes, being creative, yes. So, with that, add your own to it, reflect on those as you inhale and exhale deeply, and relax.
your body, you begin to feel how you connect with your infinite being, this energy of yours that is much more than what you see. Feel through your breath the expansion of your being. Inhale life and when you exhale let go all that extra energy that doesn't pertain to you. Those emotions ideas and beliefs. Just let them go as you exhale. Imagine as if they were smoke and you are blowing it away, far away in the universe. And then you exhale, inhale once again. And you receive the miracle of life. And you know that you can trust in life. So that way you allow yourself to relax. Beginning with your feet and then your legs. Your hips. Your abdomen. Your lower back. Breathing in deeply, breathing out and relaxing your upper back and your shoulders. Breathing in deeply and as you exhale, relaxing your chest, your arms, each finger, just feel how pleasant it is to relax your body. The more you relax your body, the more you feel that connection with your essential being. Relaxing your face, your eyelids, and your forehead. Visualize yourself like going deeper and deeper into different levels of relaxation. Five leading you to four, three to two, two leading you to one. And now being there in the silence of your essence, you begin to visualize all of your energy, visualize each one of your cells in perfect alignment with the universe. And with every new breath you take, observe and feel the expansion of the frequencies of each one of your cells. You become more and more that light, less and less matter. 
you become that wave, that frequency, feeling lighter and lighter. And now, you as the observer, as that consciousness, you become aware of all around you, circumstances, people, elements, and you decide to interpret all of that in a divine way. Imagine as if you were creating a masterpiece called life and this is happening within yourself in this beautiful energy that you are. You are the consciousness. You are the creator. So feel that inspiration and continue to create. Continue to feel the expansion. of your own creation as you flow with the sound of the ancestral gongs.
Continue with your eyes closed. Breathe in deeply. As you allow your awareness to come back to this moment. And at the same time, as you welcome yourself with infinite love to life. Take another deep breath. Moving your fingers, wiggling your toes, stretching your body. And whenever you feel ready, just open your eyes.